understanding the blocked response. A key survival mechanism in our response to danger is the activation of alarm. The fire chief once remarked that when a building burns, the people most at risk are not those who panic, who tend to get out quickly, but those who, not having grasped the emergency, sort through their possessions, deciding which to save. With this in mind, psychologists Bib Latane and John Daly carried out a study examining factors that influence our response to potential danger. In the study, volunteer subjects were asked to wait in a room and fill out a questionnaire. While they were at work, a steady stream of smoke-like vapor started pouring in through a vent in the wall and filling the room. If individuals were in the room alone, they responded quickly, leaving the room and looking for help. But when several people sat in a room together, they looked to see how others responded. If they saw others remaining calm and continuing to fill in their questionnaires, they were more likely to do so too. Even when the room became so smoky that it was difficult to see and some subjects were coughing or rubbing their eyes, most persisted with their questionnaires. More than two-thirds continued for a full six minutes before they were rescued by one of the researchers. This experiment serves as a metaphor for our responses to planetary emergency. If the smoke re represents disturbing information, filling out the questionnaire is like continuing with business as usual. If we are to survive as a species, we need to understand how our active responses to danger get blocked and also how we can prevent this from happening. What gets in our way of noticing the smoke? Often we experience an inner tension between the impulses to do something and the resistance to it. There are many varieties of resistance. Here are seven common ones. 